What is up, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new week here on Body Bags. I'm the Tuesday guy, Andy, aka the Retro Slasher Green Guys. A brand new review this week. Now, at the end of my review last week, I said, you know what? Next week, I'll review something retro. Uh, so retro it is. Slasher it is. Retro Slasher, hence the name. Really bad pun of a joke, but maybe somebody laughed out there. Let me know if you laughed out there. But yeah, the film is from 1980, right in that uh, peak of that slasher golden era of slashers some people call it i really don't believe in the golden era of slashers because there's great slashers from every year in my opinion but when the slashers were at their all-time high i just say when there was one coming out every fucking week but yeah this one's from 1980 and it goes by the title of home sweet home uh yeah a thanksgiving themed slasher film not too many of those out there which is it was surprising now that's 2016 and nobody's really made too many Thanksgiving slashers. I don't know. Maybe it's a holiday they don't really want to fuck with. But yeah, as I tend to do, I'm going to read the synopsis here off the back. So let's keep the tradition on that. Uh, so getting into that. Um, Thanksgiving Day, the Bradley family and their friends gather for a traditional feast to give thanks for life's beautiful blessings. And they have every reason to be thankful for their lives because before they know it, They'll be dead. For the Bradleys have an uninvited guest, a homicidal maniac has escaped from imprisonment to satisfy his pent-up lust for murder. And he has singled out their home for his psychopathic killing spree. One by one, the reveal is will be methodically stocked and served up in the butcher's holiday blood feast until the Bradleys' home, sweet home, becomes a grisly house of horrors. Uh, yeah, I actually like the way that was written. It's pretty well done. Uh, big thumbs up to uh, the guy whoever wrote that out. And pretty smart, and I like the way it was written. Um, so yeah, that's the plot of that. Um, man escapes from a mental institution, uh, singles out a family in his home, starts picking on people one by one. Now, if that plot doesn't sound very familiar to another well known film from this time period, it's kind of a film that made it possible or influenced a lot of these films as you can see the poster behind me yes it's very similar to halloween except uh man except of a manscaping on halloween and picking off babysitters uh, he breaks out on thanksgiving and starts picking off family members very very similar not really a negative or positive thing about the film um as at that time a lot of films were just clones of halloween or ripping off halloween um what can you do it was that was hot back then, you know. Every week there was a slasher film coming out, and they all tend to resemble Halloween in some way. Uh, yeah. But getting into some actual thoughts into this film. Oh, my thoughts. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think at all I have anything positive to say about this film. This film is pretty god-awful, man, to be frank and honest with you guys. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh... So, first negative thing is the acting. Acting in this film is really, really bad. Non-believable characters, unlikable characters. Uh, mainly, most of them are pretty annoying, and I'm kind of glad they they died. <laughs> you know, there was nobody really for me to root for in this film. <laughs> Which you're supposed to do in slasher films. You're not supposed to root for the killer. But uh, horror fans always root for the killer for some reason. But you're supposed to root for the victims, and I ended up rooting for the killer in this one. Now, as to the failing of this film, it feels very shot on video style, but it's not. It's actually done pretty worse than some shot on video films, which is kind of hilarious if you think about it. Uh, it has that vibe, but it's done, just done poorly, and it, it, it looks pretty awful, man. Uh, the kills in this film, everybody loves kills on slasher films. That's why we love them. The kills in this film are pretty weak. It does have somewhat of a decent body count. I guess that's a positive. I think there was like seven deaths in this film, which is pretty good you know um but they were the kills were lackluster nothing special just mainly slicing and dicing you know not anything extremely gory or bloody or nasty or mean-spirited it was just pretty simple basic slicing and dicing uh but yeah what can you do it's an early 80s slasher man there wasn't again all kind of crazy at that time uh yeah so oh and the music in this film not that good. It really just doesn't fit the tone of the film. Uh, this film's just really goofy and 
bad acted and everything. I really don't care for this film at all. I I watched this film a few years ago for the first time when I got it at the convention, and I didn't care for it again. I decided to give it a rewatch because I didn't know what else to rewatch, and I wanted to watch a slasher film, an old school slasher film. So I said, you know what? I'll give Home Sweet Home another try. I'm always shitting on it, but I only seen it the once. And now that I've seen it a second time, still not a fan of it. I highly don't recommend this film at all. Uh, if it gets a release, though, it'd be kind of interesting to pick up because, you know, I like the sport companies that put these really obscure 80 slashes on Blu-ray or DVD or whatnot. So I'd probably buy it if it got re-released because just the collector in me does that. But I wouldn't recommend anybody else to this film especially if you're not a big slasher fan or slasher is not your favorite subgenre or not that uh, you really have to be a huge fan of slashers to get through this one because it's pretty tough and boring and just bad man poorly made poorly directed poorly acted uh so if i had to throw a thorough rating on this one i'd be inclined to give it like a one but that doesn't seem fair because it's a pretty it's a it's a it's a movie it's complete it's just poorly made um, and so as last week, I probably gave my highest rating to a film yet. Uh, so this week I'm going to give my lowest rating to a film and I'm just going to give it a two and a half out of 10, uh, unlikable characters, bad acting, all the previous stuff I said, it's not that good, man. I don't recommend you picking up this one or whatever you do with these things. Uh, but that has been my review of Home Sweet Home Thanksgiving Slasher Film from 1980. I hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, if you've seen this film, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I, I'd like to see more people out there start commenting on our reviews and whatnot. I'm not begging you to or anything, but it just it just um, makes us know that we're that you actually watch our videos because this is the thing we all really care about doing for the most part. Um, we all really enjoy doing this for you guys. So to show a little love back and forth, like I said, not not begging or anything or pleading, but just give us some love down there. Let us know about some your thoughts on some of these films that we review every day. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with a brand new review. Hopefully uh, the film that I do want to review will be here in time. So yeah, so I'll see you guys next week with a brand new review. Later, guys.